What up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm on a Z900. This is my buddy Justin's Z900. Woo, that's pretty loud. It's a 2024 uh, SE, so it's got the Owen suspension. And this is like my first couple miles with this thing. This is a really cool bike. Uh, Justin's right behind me, he's on the ZH2. We're going to stop up here and do a walk around of this bike and get a little review, but um, I've just ridden it a couple miles right now. I freaking love this thing. This thing is awesome. It's, uh, it's so much more comfortable than the ZH2. Like, the position is really comfortable, and um, it's it feels so nimble compared to the ZH2. It feels definitely a bit nimbler. Yeah, this thing's pretty sweet. I really like it. So he bought this bike like two weeks after, two, three weeks after I got my ZH2. Um, and he did some research obviously on what he wanted to get and whatnot, so. Oh yeah, there's some fat wheelies. <laughs> Yeah, this is a sweet bike, honestly, like, I, I have a power problem, I just always have to have, like, the most powerful thing you can get, but as, like, a daily rider, and just an all-around awesome bike, I mean, if you're cruising back roads, canyons, whatever, this thing is awesome, it's got a lot of power, and you're in a really good riding position. It's got a lot of safety features, too, obviously, it's got the Kawasaki traction control, ABS, and the suspension is something that I'd like to kind of like mess around with a little bit because it does have the Owens, so. It doesn't have a quick shift here, that's one thing I noticed, but um, honestly it's not a big deal. I, I mean if you've ridden bikes your whole life you're used to shifting, so it just kind of comes natural, not a big deal. This thing handles smooth in the corners. Ooh -wee. Oh man, <laughs> I'm liking this thing. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> ready? That's a Super Terry 1000, so this thing's pretty damn fast. <laughs> oh man, this thing is just agile all around. I like it. I can just feel it in these little corners, like these little areas. Uh, it's so, it's you can feel the weight difference, really. It's like really agile at lower speeds, you can feel it. I know that transfers over to higher speeds too, for sure. Guys, so we made it to our spot. This is Justin, and he's got the Z900. So, like I said, he bought this like what two weeks, three weeks after my bike, yep. maybe. Check this out, guys. He's got the Olin suspension, front and rear. Where's your adjuster? Right there. Oh yeah. Grab that knob for me. I'm just you want kidding. me to just, just not grab it? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me what you've done. What have you done so far? Uh, well, really nothing. I did take the exhaust off because it was ridiculously quiet. It was yeah. quieter than a sewing machine. So now it's just uh, basically an open cat. And it does weigh probably open. a good 15, 20 pounds. So that does take some weight off. Yeah, right so away. weight loss right away. Nice. Other than that, I haven't done anything. I do plan on doing full exhaust system. Nice. Um, You're going to do full headers? Full headers. We'll do a tune. Match that. Yeah, just really, not. Other than that, it's, it's pretty set up. Suspension's pretty good. I mean, I just rode it here and like, uh, right away, it is so much more nimble than the ZH2. It's way lighter. Like, I'm in this little park with this little, these little road and it's like, so much more nimble here at low speed. You don't feel like you need a steering stabilizer with this yeah. either. Yeah. Oh, you don't have one? No, it doesn't come. Ah, uh, that's thing. crazy. Yeah, because mine is all over the place. How many miles do you have on this thing? Let's just take a, a look. Over a thousand, just over a thousand. You might have to switch the set. First oil I change? I, you know, I take my traction control off in it. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> as soon as I hopped on the bike, I know he, he left traction control off for me, and I was like, well, all right. 
11 you do that on you do that on purpose 11 43 yep. so on purpose. any complaints so far what are your biggest complaints any the only complaints i have is probably the gearbox it's a little clunky between second first and second gear okay other than that i don't really have any complaints i noticed it was uh at the first gear it's very um jolty yeah that's, that's so kinda that's kind of yeah okay i think honestly dude well, i think an ecu flash will fix that because if okay. it, it it fixed my mt like it was actually oh, oh and the other jerky. thing i forgot to mention it doesn't come with a quick shifter either like the MT yeah i noticed that no quick shifter but i like i said i was uh said in my helmet i said um if you've been riding bikes like your whole life it doesn't really make a difference you can add one but i always you know i'm leery of that yeah of have you had yeah <laughs> you, he probably knows people with quick shift problems yeah. so. the green frames oh you can't beat that Freaking that's the fastest beautiful one. you know the color makes it faster yeah <laughs> green, yeah <laughs> i actually am jealous of the olin's color on the suspension because i have oh yeah what is this guy. this is like kyb right i have the electronic suspension but it's kind of like a weird dull gold this is like a shiny gold. I definitely like his better. Come over here. Anybody that gets one of these bikes or a bike with a radiator in the front, get a guard. I already have a freaking rock. Ooh. Right into it. So I, that's one of Ooh. the things I noticed I want to get as a guard. Damn. So that could have been just from your front tire, huh? Could have been or somebody else's. Not sure. Yeah, I'm going to have to. I don't even have one, so probably should get one. I mean, if you get an aluminum one, it's probably pretty light. It's not going to add weight. 100 bucks or something. Yeah. yeah uh so gearbox kind of clunky what was the uh, second one uh really it's just that uh, i didn't really have any issues with the fuel gauge like you do with your bike oh yeah his fuel gauge works better yeah so power rise i mean it's it's fast it does wheelies yeah. I, it can get to speed limits over the speed you know it can get to illegal speed limits really quick oh, really quick. um the only thing it's missing like i said would be steering steering stabilizer, dampener quick yeah um, yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't run the stock exhaust it's just ridiculous and only, it's super like heavy and loud exhaust. yeah <laughs> dude it's i mean it's already even with that big cat box in there it's still kind of quieter it's, quiet. it's better i mean we could run it to see what it sounds yeah like. give me some revs here okay. it sounds good though it's got a good rumble one thing i like about it, it's still a four-cylinder really yeah really smooth. <laughs> I mean, it's loud when you get on it. Yeah, it, it sounds Dude, once you have that header set up and your cat delete, it's going to be sweet with a tune. Yeah. Um, your, your brakes are grippier yeah. than mine. Right off Like, the they bat. bite more. They bite right quicker. So, I adjusted my brake That's lever. That's maybe what it is. Like, way, like okay. way in. What, I noticed so right maybe, away. I went to grab it, and I was like, wow, your brake. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, what are your favorite things about it? Just the raw power. And the raw smoothness. power? Yeah. And it... I think, it is, you know. yeah, one thing that's also is it's got a lower riding height than mine. Like, when I hop on this, it's easier to swing my leg around it. And I should show you guys. I it makes a, a big difference. The seat on mine. A little hack with the seat. So, the seat comes at an angle and it really pushes you. And if you're male riding it, your junk likes to ride the tank. It gets really <laughs> uncomfortable. So, what do you do? What's so, I found a little hack on the, on the internet. This little thing here, these come reverse so the high part is on top. Oh. You can flip those rubber grommets and it makes it sit lower in the rear so you're actually more level when you ride. Nice. Also, make sure your battery terminals are hooked <laughs> yeah. up. Justin bought the bike and we went to the First gas, gas station, station to fill it up and it wouldn't start. And we're like, what's going on? Dude, that's an awesome little hack. You probably could do it with yours. Huh. That's pretty cool. It does make cool. it less sporty, they said, you know, of a riding position. But yeah. But it's way more like comfortable. Cramming yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dude, these these two bikes, like with the green frames next to each other, we went to a bike, basically like a bike meetup, and you see these two bikes next to each other, and people think they think they're the same thing, you know? They're like, oh, these are both, you know, they're both sweet yeah, with the green frame. The yeah, Kawasaki needs to figure out a better way to get this whole. Dude, system. I had it. <laughs> I had it down and then. You know, struggling on video. Oh, this guy, guys, this also has Brembo's. So, I mean, it comes with stock with Brembo's front and rear. Oh, you got a Nissan rear. All right. We swapped the rear. Does yours have a Nissan too? I don't know. I never know. Yeah, it does. Really? Yeah. So, the Justin's had a lot of street bikes. You've never had one with cruise control, right? This one doesn't have cruise control. Either. Doesn't? Oh, it doesn't? I thought it did. Yeah. 
I've never had a bike with cruise control, so it's really nothing I've missed, I guess. Oh, okay. Huh. Mostly cruisers. That's this is a lot sportier, them. though, like riding-wise. This thing's way sportier than cruisers that you've had before. Way sportier. Yeah. And way quicker. And it's like the riding position, dude, is, I think the riding position is awesome because... What else do I not like? Oh, I'll probably do a tail tidy. Yeah, he's going to do a tail tidy. He's going to do a full exhaust. We'll do another sound bite, obviously, when he gets that done. Uh, that's we'll do it, like, that's literally all it needs. Yeah, I mean, he. It, I wrote it. It really doesn't need a steering stabilizer. Um, you could get one if you have like really shit roads or I bad can tell roads. I'm sure that the ABS works well because I've tested it. <laughs> ABS works well. Yep. I yeah. stomped on the rear just to test it. You know, when I first got it, it, it definitely works. It doesn't lock up. And you did uh, oil change at 600, 700. Oil change at 600. Yep. Nice. Pretty like easy. Full four quarts. Yeah, it's easy. Oil filter. He said oil filter was kind of tricky to get off, but other than it's, that, it's kind of tight, and, it, and it's you gotta warm the bike up, and it's right next to the header. So, it's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really hot. I'm hearing something. You hear that, Justin? I hear it. Got some visitors. It's not a brother, that's for sure. Yeah, it ain't no brother. Street bike Noah showing up for the surprise. I heard him coming from a mile away. <laughs> He's got his dad. That's a sweet bike too. We'll have to do a review on that. <laughs> 